This is the plaintiff, Max Yarmouth. He says he rented a property from the defendant, and when he moved out, the guy deducted money for landscaping from his security deposit. He was never informed there was any problem with the yard he maintained over the years, and he doesn't feel like he should have to foot the bill so the next tenant has upgraded landscaping. So he's suing for the $1,037.90 he is owed. This is the defendant, Mark Dodson. He says the plaintiff figured he was moving out and neglected the yard he was supposed to maintain. The lawn was grossly overgrown, the bushes needed to be trimmed, and he deducted from the cost of the security. End of story. He's accused of being crass about the grass. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff rented a house from the defendant, and the guy docked him for landscaping. But the defendant says the plaintiff neglected the yard. It's the case of you smoking weed? Thank you, Douglas. Welcome okay, on. Mr. Yarmouth, you're suing your former landlord, Mr. Dotson, for $1,037.90, double your security deposit that was, according to you, wrongfully withheld. Um, like a couple of boxers shaking hands. That's a people's court first, I gotta tell you. All right, talk to me, what's going on? Uh, basically, I have been living in that particular location for three years, never had any issue, especially not with the yard. Uh, uh, according to the lease that you signed, you're responsible for the maintenance of the yard. I did, I do, and I did. Right. And I have a receipt here for the, from the loan company who took care of the yard. And you would pay them how much? I paid them roughly, it was $30 per week. And they would uh, come every week? Yes. Okay, uh, and I saw your bills, that you have been paying that during, you, uh, since when? The bills you submitted were March, were, I'm sorry, May and June? May and, May and June, and uh, I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately for Mark, the uh, loan company didn't realize that I moved out, and actually they did uh, even do work in They did July? July? Yes. Why didn't they realize you moved out? Uh, the owner is not exactly uh, most, Organized? Uh, organized, yes. Is he good at doing lawns? Because according to them, the lawn needed serious care. Uh, you have to distinguish between uh, uh, regular lawn maintenance and marketing uh, property. That's a completely different uh, issue. Because and what happened is once you moved out, which you moved out when? I moved out on uh, June 30th. Did you get 15. your security deposit back? I got my security deposit on July 28, 2015. Okay, and how much was there? He took out 500. 18 and 95 cents for lawn maintenance. For lawn maintenance. Yes. Because according to you, you had to do what? It was primarily a condition of the weeds. There were substantial beds around the house, front, side, and back. They were unkept, substantially overgrown. There's no dispute about the grass was mowed. Had you ever <clears throat> um, said anything to him about how the place was being kept until then? In early May, my representative that was releasing the house had met with Max. She pointed out the issue of the beds to him. Do you have an affidavit from that person? I do. Who's your representative, a realtor? Yes. Okay, do you have pictures? I do. Okay. The condition, this is an email is what you have. You don't have an affidavit, an email that purports to come from the realtor saying, the condition of the beds can most politely be described as overgrown and unkept. I would go further in my description, but the language would be inappropriate. Mm -hmm. I discussed the issue with you. You agreed to proceed with a landscaper. And then you hired a landscaper that charged you $518.95, so that's what you kept from the security deposit. What are these pictures? Those are of small sections of beds around the house that, and the condition they were in at the time that were taken by my representative. Okay, but wh and what did she pay five, what did you pay $518.95 to do? Show me the after pictures. We have no after pictures. So can um, a landlord deduct um, the security from a tenant if the lawn dies? Well, it depends on if he asked him to like even take care of the lawn. Like well, but it's, it's pretty obvious if the lawn's getting brown, it's gonna die. What do you think, yes or no? Uh, if you had to, I say one or the other. Yes. Okay, you say yes, what do you say? No. Why? Because it's not their house, they're just renting it, right? Not their house, but you're watching the lawn die. They don't own it, though. Fair point, fair point, going inside the courtroom. Have you been by there? 
No, I, I cannot. It's an uh, invasion of property. Well, I mean, you could go on it. No, I, 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 not, I, I, I was not aware of it. And also, if I can uh, right. look Is at that the... how they looked? Yeah. Because his argument is, Judge, lawn maintenance is not just mowing the lawn. It's not mow and blow. And that the, are those beds on your property, and is that, in fact, how they looked? Uh, well, I'm not sure at when, but uh, it might have been the beginning. She came at the beginning of uh, May. So I'm not sure what happened afterward. Also, the well, what, were your guys for thirty bucks? What were they doing? They weren't weeding, right? They were just mowing the lawn and leaving. Yes. Right. Well, they also but, they blow off the, the leaves uh, once a year. Right. Well, let's um, look at the lease and see exactly what it obligates you to do because um, maintenance. Well, uh, no. Let's look at the lease and see exactly what it obligates you to do. do you, yeah, anybody, the that Can I see the lease, please? Yes. Thank you. How long did he live there? Three, three and a half years, I think. I'm not sure. Was he a good tenant? He was a great tenant. Why don't you just kind of chalk this up to, you know, changing the guard? I mean, I'm he, a landlord. I've been a tenant. I've been a landlord. I know, you know, sometimes you got to pay a little money to change the guard. It's not even that much money. A guy's a good tenant for three years. Can... He had three weeks notice to have it done. Okay, so the exact words in the lease are the tenant is responsible for maintaining the lawn, shrubs, weeding, and trees, and removing leaves. It's not just maintaining the lawn. It's maintaining the lawn, shrubs, weeding, trees, and removing leaves. Boy, a picture does say a thousand words, doesn't it? Okay. Based on the language in that contract and the pictures that I'm seeing, I think he's entitled to keep that portion of the money. So I find in favor of the defendant in this case. Hold on right there, please. Well, you just heard the judge rule against him. This is the plaintiff in the hallway here. The lawn was a mess in the pictures, right? It was. I'm not sure when it was taken, but uh, meantime, I did have my uh, lawn company take care of it. Your lawn company? My lawn company, yes. All right. all right. Right around the corner there, okay? Your documents are waiting for you right this way. You sign those, and all right, so come on in here. What do you have to say? Well, I'm sorry it came to this. Uh, it was an unfortunate situation. Max has been a tremendous guy for three and a half years, and... I just wish he had done what was asked of him in early May. And well, was, this just a, was this just a misunderstanding on his part? You know, or was I, he trying to stick it to you at the end? If I was in sh his shoes, I may have done it too, just because it's cheaper to pay for $500, but I wasn't going to do it. So he was trying to stick it to you at the end then. Is that what you just said? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, Harvey? Okay, so if you rent a house or an apartment or whatever, you got to read the lease. People just do not read it, especially if there's landscaping. Who is responsible for it? Who is responsible for maintaining it? And can the tenant be docked in the event that stuff in the backyard dies?